Welcome to HTD Entertainment Group. I am Hamid Mark and joined with me today only one brother because the other one doesn't know jack shit about soccer. Danny, Danny, how are you doing today? Solo gang, solo time. Hey, it's, this is my episode, um, but I'm doing good. This is your episode? Yeah. yeah. All right, well, it's going to be your episode because ah, you're going to talk a lot of crap because we're going to talk about how France blew the freaking Euros. Now, as you guys know, I had France winning the whole thing. And now, obviously, I am dead wrong because they got knocked out by freaking Switzerland. Our all team Switzerland. But we're going to run down quickly um, the games that happened uh, in the round of 16, you know. Uh, we're not going to go into detail with some of them. There's only uh, two real exciting games. which is really the Spain and the Croatia game. And then, obviously, the France and the Switzerland game. So, um, you know, uh, what was this team named? Denmark? Denmark? Oh, they have it weird on, on a thing. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> Denmark versus Wales. I, they have it weird. I'm on La Liga right now, so they have oh, it weird okay. on there. I'm like, who the hell is that? Denmark versus Wales. I was 4-0 Denmark. Uh, Italy versus Austria, 2-1. Um... Uh, the Czech Republic versus uh, what was it? Uh, Netherlands. That was a very again? surprising one. Netherlands. Yeah, uh, the Netherlands. That yeah, was very, that was very surprising. Two 0 win for the Czech Republic. They've been doing very good in the tournament so far. But that, yeah, that was surprising. Yeah, that was that was an upset. And uh, obviously Belgium beat Cristiano Ronaldo one nil. I'm sad to see Cristiano. You know, out of this tournament, he did win the last tournament, the last Euros, uh, even though he got injured in that finals. But I'm sad to see that he is gone. But um. Nah, France is gone. Belgium is my uh, favorites to win the whole thing. So, uh, thanks for that, friends. This Euro, this Euros could be Ronaldo's last Euros. He might have one more, but this could be his last one. Did he say that? No, he said because uh, twenty twenty four, which is the next Euros, or no, yeah, twenty twenty four, he'll be like forty. So, well, I mean, Ronaldo's in good shape. So, uh, my my money is he's gonna stay. You know. Until he wins another trophy with uh with uh, Portugal or at least another World Cup. If he wins the World Cup, then I'll say he retires. But that's a big stretch, even though their team is actually pretty clean in my opinion. All right, so the two exciting games for the round of sixteen: Croatia and Spain. Now that one was a doozy. Like, God dang, what a, this this had eight goals in this whole game, bro. The scores for uh for Croatia was uh Orsic uh. Uh, Pasilic, is that Pasilic? Yeah. Orsic, and Orsic is the Pedro. dude who destroyed Spurs in the Europa League, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, dang. He scored a hat trick to knock him out. And then Aspliqueta, uh, that's Floribia. my captain. Huh? That's my captain. Shout out Aspliqueta. Trash. Uh, Torres, uh, Avro Morata, and uh, Orizabal. God, I'm butchering some of these names. How do you say that? Orizabal, right? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, that game. Whoo, that game was, that game was crazy. I I had Croatia winning that game at really? first. Yeah, yeah I, had Croatia Cro- I had Croatia before the game started. I had Croatia winning that game, but Spain came out to play, and Morata finally, finally broke his his uh, his uh his bad shooting form by scoring some goals. So I'm proud for I'm proud for España. They're gonna they're gonna make some noise in the tournament. They ain't gonna win, but they're gonna make some noise in the tournament. Um, who are they playing next? Uh, they're playing. Oh, they're playing um Switzerland, right? Yeah, they're playing Switzerland. Yeah, they're playing Switzerland. Yeah. Um, but about the game. First off, their goalkeeper messed up with the first goal because it was a bad own goal. Um, but they never yeah, recovered. That goal was trash. Then they recovered. The goalkeeper was good for the rest of the game, though. He was really good. Um, but then they recovered. I'm happy my captain Aspili Quetta scored. Um, shout out Marata for scoring. Um. And that's pretty much it. But great comeback by Croatia. They they played a good game because they were down three one and they came back to send it to extra time. Yeah, that whew, that game was a doozy. But let's just get, uh, well, well, England beat uh, uh, England beat Germany two 0 Kai Ge- Havertz was disappointed. Kai Havertz was the best player out there, but nobody could help him. Team over and the best Thomas player out there was Bakio Saka, the number one no, player on, in on Germany. Hmm? On Germany. Germany's just sorry. Oh, Kai Havertz was the best player on the pitch. Oh, really? Germany. On that trash yeah. performance? Yeah, and Thomas Muller and, and Timo Werner could not help him. 
They couldn't help Yeah, Mueller missed that. Oh, he was clear on goal. I'm like, bro, you got to. You got to put that away, fam. Oh, my God. And then um, we got uh, was it Ukraine and Sweden. That was actually a pretty good match. Uh, I actually enjoyed that oh, one. Yeah, I, I saw that. 2-1 two, 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 two in uh, Ukraine's uh, position. Uh, Sinchenko scored. Uh, whew, he he's not going to hit a volley better than that in the first uh, in the first. Uh, that's why they call, him the Kevin, they call him Kevin De Bruyne's son for a reason. Yeah, that, that, whew, that, volley, was, that volley was sweet. But now let's get into the... To the to the real crux of this, <sighs> my friends. First off, you would never see a better performance from Granit Xhaka. That that was ridiculous. Bro, this, bruh, oh my god! And then people were like, "Or only Arsenal will give him away for like twenty million dollars." If you watch the games, he's trash. I don't want to hear that. He has one magical game with freaking with freaking uh, 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 Switzerland, and all of a sudden he's a world beater. No, no, he's bro. He was better than Conte. <laughs> No, no, I know what he really is. He's a he's a sorry he's a sorry excuse for a footballer, but he just had a a good game. He's surrounded by he's surrounded by good ass players, but France, I don't know what like bro, they're so good. You got Mbappe, Pogba, Conte, Varane, Lloris, you got Coleman, Benzema, like Olivier Giroud as a super sub. Bro, oh my god, like you should be destroying this team, fam. Like they should. Like they, the first half they started out really slow, and the second half they started they started um they started actually getting their strides. And with Benzema, with Mbappe by the way, like leading the charge in those two goals, uh, uh getting those two goals and then Pogba scoring the third, I'm like, all right, it's over. And then freaking uh, Gravanovic scored in the 90th minute to tie it up. I'm like, oh my. Well, first, uh, Sever Se- Sefer- Jesus Christ, these names. <laughs> And and uh, Gavranovic scored in the 81th and 90th minute to tie the game. I'm like, here we go, freaking France! Like, oh my god, bro! Like, whoa. I couldn't understand. They took out Griezmann. Uh, he took out Griezmann. Deschamps took out Griezmann like the late second half. I'm like, bro, you're gonna need him in extra time. No, they took him out because they wanted to play him. Yeah, they wanted to play uh, Sissoko. They wanted yeah, to be more more they defensive. Were, they were, Since when is Sissoko a defensive minded player? First off, first off, I don't know why Sissoko is still in the French team. First off, second off, they were up three two, so they trying to make a defensive substitution, but it didn't work. It didn't work out. It didn't work out. Bro, oh my god! And then it gets the penalties, and like it's it's like everyone's making penalties, and all the people. Out of all the people in the world, that I'm like, yeah, this is going to put away the penalty. My boy, Killing Mbappe, misses the penalty. Um, bro, my heart broke. I'm like, oh, my God. I keep, like, my friends know. I keep, like, Mbappe is my boy. Like, like I, he's he's going to be the GOAT, in my opinion, when it's all said and done. He's going to be like Pelly. Yeah, you heard me. He's going to be like Pelly. He's going to win, like, three World Cups. He's going to win Champions League if PSG. Better than Messi. Hmm? Better than Messi. Yeah, he's going to be better than Messi. That's cap. Yeah, okay. I already won a World Cup, so all he has to do is do it on the domestic stage. He's that's, already better than that's Messi. That's cap. That's not cap. Okay. He could be the all-time greatest scorer in wherever he goes to. He could win multiple Champions League. He could be one of the greatest scorers in Champions League history. It's not cap. He's still like 20 years old, 21 years old. He got his whole life. He already got a World Cup, so he I mean, already got one up on Messi. All he got to do is do it in the domestic In my stage. opinion, future Chelsea player Erling Holland might be a little better. I don't know. No. Yeah. No, Holland, Holland's a nice player, but no. But when Bobby missed that penalty, I'm like, oh my god! Like, there goes my prediction, and there goes my my freaking Mbappe goat talk. Because if he won the the European Championship for France, that would have been uh, that would have been a good uh, a good uh, little cap to his f- great career that he's gonna have. But now, I mean, he's gonna have more ch- European Championships, obviously. But like to Switzerland, and oh my god, when we saw Jacka. Oh, we let him go for freaking Twinkies and some Skittles. I'm like, <laughs> yo, imagine if you saw him and he just turned into like one of the best midfielders in the world. That would be so funny. Screw the guy, Zaka, bro. He's trash. He's a, he has the temperament of a freaking of a freaking squirrel. Like I don't understand. Like, oh my god, dude. I just want him off my team to be honest. If he, listen, I don't care how he plays, like, but he don't play good on Arsenal. That's all I care I about. I mean. Um, but some players, some players do that when they go to like Mesut Ozil. Like he was so good for Madrid, and then he went to Arsenal. Yeah, you know why? Because he was surrounded by goats. And then when he actually had to work hard and make a name for himself, he couldn't do jack jack squat without any help. 
He had a great German side his whole life, and he had a great Real Madrid side his whole life. Arsenal was decent, but they ain't Real Madrid or Germany. And that's, that's where you see a footballer's true color. Look at Laka Sanchez. He was, he was balling for all his life until he left to Manchester United. Like... You gotta work hard. You gotta prove. You gotta prove your worth. This is the English Premier League, bro. You can't just sit there. You gotta work hard. But he he wasn't. He wasn't it. But yeah, France. France is a. Uh, they're out of the tournament. So you know, my new favorites are Belgium, which they play. Yeah. Italia. They play Italy in the the quarterfinals. I have Belgium winning the whole. Uh, yeah, thing. let's make our let's mark, make a prediction for the quarterfinals. So, first game is Spain Switzerland. I personally have it's Spain. Yeah, I have Spain winning. Um, it's gonna be close though. I think Switzerland, as long as Grand Shaka keeps playing like that, they'll make it a game. They'll make it a game for, for real. They'll make it a game. Yeah, Belgium, Italy. That I'm giving it to Belgium. Italy are Lukaku? very underrated. Huh? Italy are very underrated. They're they're doing a lot right now, but it's De Bruyne is injured, and Eden Hazard is injured, so that could give Italy an edge. But well, a little bit, but uh, no, nah, I think I think. You got Tiogan Hazard. You got Lukaku. You got um. You got uh. What's his face? Um, Mertens or whatever. Hmm? Mertens. Yeah, you got Mertens. You, they got. I think they got a good enough squad. Cause I'm already. I already know what the Italians are gonna do. They're gonna not park the bus, but they're gonna play very defensive in that game. So I, I got the Belgium. Right, Italy is a team like, who. Italy is a team, Italy is a team who likes to keep the ball. So they might try to keep the ball. It might not work out. So they might not keep a lot of possession, but they'll try to keep the ball. But I, it's a very close one. I think it might go to extra time, but I got Belgium winning probably like 2-1. 2-1? Yeah, I got Belgium winning 2-1. Then you got the Czech Republic versus uh, Denmark. I got... I'm rooting for Denmark because of yeah, the Yeah, I'm, I'm rooting for Denmark. I think they're going to win. I think Czech got lucky the last round. They're going to win. Denmark should nah, win that. Czech's actually really good. They top, they top the group of England in it, and England are really good. But I wouldn't be surprised at all if Czech win. Yeah. But I'll go Denmark. And then we got England versus Ukraine. Ukraine, no, I'm, I'm joking. Bro, you better stop, bro. I can, I, it's hard to support freaking England because a lot of players in that team I don't like in the league anyway. So I'm like, ugh. Nah, it's different. Man. When it comes to country, you just have to forget it all about all. No, that. yeah, they have to forget about. It. I don't have to forget about Jack. I ain't from England. All right, yeah, you're right. So but, freaking Harry Kane, Ryan. I can't, I can't say the only one I like on that team is Saka. I can't say any of those players on the team. What did Mason Mount do to you? You're what Mason Mount did to me. <laughs> That's what it is. Uh, speaking so, of Mason Mount, as long as Mason Mount starts, I root for England. If he doesn't start, then come on, Ukraine. But, I mean, England's going to win. Uh, Belgium's my favorite, but if Belgium disappoints me like France did, then England will be the next one on my list. But Belgium should win this whole thing, to be honest. I don't care what injuries they got. Belgium, I think, have the best squad left in the tournament. I think they're the most stable squad in the tournament. I think they got the best striker in the tournament right now in Lukaku. He's better than Kane. Yes. No, not yes. at all. Yes, not even close. He won, the, he won the skid at the with Inter Milan. He's okay, better. Kane, could, Kane, you could have put Kane up front. They would have won the skid. Bro, what did Kane win? What did Harry Kane win? He played for Spurs. Okay, and? It's a decent team. Messi can't win anything with Spurs. That, Spurs is a decent team. You, you know that's not true. Come on. <laughs> stop it. I could even say that with a straight face. It don't matter, though. Uh, I, I think Lukaku is better than Harry Kane, or at least he's in better form. He's not. Yes, he is. So that's who I got. Um, so yeah, that's a uh, that's a uh, France like venting about my good old good old swaggy France team and Kylian Mbappe. It's it's our right, Mbappe. You're gonna you're young, bro. You're gonna have many more opportunities to kill everybody in this league, in this tournament, in soccer, in world football. You're gonna win more trophies. You're gonna win another World Cup. I'm telling you right now, France, Qatar. That's nah, right, Portugal, they, Portugal all the way. I won't be mad if Portugal win, but no, Ronaldo's too old, and he his team his team bro his team's not good enough to be not well rounded enough I should say to win the the thing. If they win, I'll, I'll be happy for him, and then he'll be the goal at least until Mbappe you know does more in his uh, club. Uh, if Ronaldo club. wins World Cup, you think he's a goat? Who? If Ronaldo wins the World Cup, you think he's a goat? Hopefully. I mean, I think he's a goat already right now. But you think he's better than Messi? Yeah, he won a champ. He won wow. a European Championship with. Wow. He won a European Championship with freaking. With uh, well, Messi can't uh with do Portugal, he he's won multiple times with Manchester United, Real Madrid, and Juventus is up and down. But I mean, he's old at that point. He is the most. He's the highest goal scorer in the Champions League. 
Yes, I think Messi he, scored ninety. Messi scored ninety one goals in a calendar year. You know how insane that is. I know that's crazy. That's amazing. You know what I mean? He's Messi's scored, in the conversation. He scored or assisted ten percent of Barcelona's oh. goal in all time history. I know. I know that. I know that. But I still have Cristiano over him because that's he does, unbelievable. He's won more. He's won more Champions League. He has just as much of Ballon d'Ors as he does. His goal scoring record is pretty much as good as Messi's, if not better, because of the Champions League. I, Ronaldo's the goal for me. Until Messi, until Messi, if Messi wins the Copa America, then I'm going to change my opinion. But Ronaldo's the goal for at the moment. Until Mbappe. Definitely not. Well, I think so. But anyways, yeah, that's uh, that's our topic of the, uh, the Euros and how France messed it all up for me. But, you know, that's okay. That's okay. France, France will be back. Paul Pogba, Kylian Mbappe, Benzema, they're they going to be back. They're going to be back. But uh, that is HTD Entertainment Group. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the Euros. I know I will because I don't have any stake in it anymore. I'm just going to be literally watching it for fun. Uh, I mean, I have pride in it because Belgium might win. But other than that, you know, you know, you guys uh, be safe and we'll see you back here next time.